All right. Hey guys, what's going on? We got a new day of reviews. Um, what are we gonna do today? We have Sazerac Rye. All right. Um, I found out about this bottle. I don't know. I guess it'd have been a month ago, and straight rye whiskey obviously this is a bourbon channel but i did want to do a couple of rye videos because i know there are some good ryes out there so i don't want to exclude them i just think it's important to get a little bit of perspective on some of these other um, whiskeys that are fairly similar similar to the uh to the bourbons and i, I mean I like this, so I just wanted to do a quick review on it. I'll make this really quick, okay? So, Sazerac Rye, I don't know much about it. I think it is a Buffalo Trace. Yeah, it is. It's a Buffalo Trace, but it's owned and bottled for Sazerac Company. Um, by Buffalo Trace Distillery, Frankfurt, Kentucky. Okay, so yeah, it is Buffalo Trace. Um, here's the deal. This thing, 24 bucks love that that is a, a really good price on these things so let's go ahead and uh, do a quick review on it as you can see yeah i've had this for a while and it is half gone but that's okay i can't be going out and buying new bourbons every time or new bottles every time i want to do a review so I'm going to take the stuff that I've hit and, you know, see how that goes um, and give you my opinion, give you the score. Is it worth buying? All that good stuff. Um, this thing is pretty available. I see it all over. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, let's let's see how it tastes, how it scores out and, uh, you know, go from there. Wow, that is really smooth. That is really smooth. Um, this is 45% 90 proof. That is super smooth. I mean, you can tell it is a rye, but it's not super, super different from a bourbon drink. Um, hmm, if I could compare this to anything... Man, what would that be? Wow. I'm probably going to go along the lines of something like a Maker's Mark. Something like that. The flavor is, is different. And that's, that's, that's what I get out of it. I, I like the flavor of it. And I'm, I'm assuming that that's just from the rye part of this this drink but um all right we got the rocks chilling over here mellowing out let's see what this thing's all about like i said before on the other reviews i do like stuff a little bit chilled it's it, it does make it a little bit nicer yeah i mean it's still same flavor same, same flavor it's not like it gets watered down the burn i don't feel a burn um on either one I, these are this is a very very easy drinking uh whiskey so for a rye it's really good the flavor is really good um yeah i i really like this all right so 24 bucks would i buy this heck yes oh yeah this is definitely worth it um that is a that is a good pour uh let's see rating zero to ten um what am i going to give this i know it's in a whole different category but whatever you know it is what it is um i, I don't i don't I, like i'm not educated on the differences and all the you know ingredients of what goes on to make a rye versus uh versus a straight up bourbon but i do know that you know some of these like i know a lot of the buffalo trace 
products. They are considered weeded bourbons. I don't, I, I'm, I'm assuming that there's weed in it. So, you know, this has to be some kind of a straight, it is, there it is, straight rye whiskey. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, this is a really, really good pour. I mean, for a rye whiskey. All right, so definitely, definitely worth the $24, $25 price range. Uh, for sure, get that. Uh, rating 0 to 10. Let's see. Man, this is, it's so different. So it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go with the 7.7. 7.7. .7. That is a really, really good rating for that. 7.7. .7. All right, there you go. Sazerac Rye. Again, you can get this in most all places. It's probably something that may become scarce. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if people start gobbling this up because it tastes so good. Uh, it is just smooth, really smooth for 90 proof. I mean, you can't beat that. That is that is just a, a, a good pour. All right, guys, that's it. Have a good one, and uh, thanks for watching.